Okay. Um, let's try and use our combination approach to solve this problem. Say that you have five different Latin books, seven different Greek books, and ten different French books. And if you were asked this on a test, how many ways can you select two books of a different subject? How could we solve this problem? And one approach can be, actually there's two different approaches that um, we could use to tackle this problem. First, use a combination approach because that's what we're trying to demonstrate in this video. We realize, well, here we have a total of 22 books. So if we first ask this question, what's the total number of ways that we can select two different books out of this pile, say, of 22 books? We know how to solve that. That's just this, which we can figure out pretty quickly. This is 22 factorial divided by 22 minus 2. That's 20 factorial times 2 factorial. And this equals 22 factorial is 22 times 21 times 20 factorial divided by 20 factorial and 2 factorial is just 2 so these cancel and we have 11 times 21 so we have 210 plus 21 it looks like that's 231 ways so, out of our group here of 22 books, there's 231 ways to select two different books. But the two different books might be of the same subject matter. We might have two different Greek books included in here, two different French books included in here, two different Greek books included in here. The question that we want to answer is, how many ways can we select two books of a different subject. Well, we know we have five Latin books and seven Greek books and ten French books. Can we answer this question? What's the total number of ways that we can select two Latin books? What's the total number of ways that we can select two Greek books? The total number of ways that we can select two French books? That would exhaust our repertoire then of two different books on the same subject. So we could answer those three questions and add it all up and subtract that figure from here. That should then tell us the number of ways that we can select two books that will be of a different subject. So let's go back to here. We have five different Latin books. How many different ways can we select two of them? Of course, the order doesn't matter. And we know it. How to figure that out? That's pretty straightforward. It's just this: five Latin books. We're going to select two of them. The order doesn't matter, and this is equal to five factorial divided by five minus two is three factorial times two factorial, and that equals ten. So there's 10 ways to select two Latin books. Now let's see, we have seven Greek books to choose from. How many different ways can we pick out two of them? Of course, that's just going to be this which equals 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 2 is 5 so we have 5 factorial times 2 factorial and 7 factorial that equals 7 times 6 times 5 factorial and that's divided by 5 factorial. That's just 2. So these cancel. 
that equals 3. 7 times 3 equals, that's 21 ways to select two group books. And we also have 10 different French books. How many ways can we select two books from them? And of course, we know what the setup for that is. 10 French books, we can select two of them. The order doesn't matter. So this will equal 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 2 is 8. That's 8 factorial times 2 factorial. And this equals 10 times 9 times 8 factorial divided by 8 factorial. That's just 2. So these cancel. That's 5. So that equals 5 times 9. That's 45 ways to select two French books. So let's see. We have 45 ways to select two French books. So two different books, but they're the same subject. 21 ways to select two Greek books. So they're two different books, but they're the same subject. And 10 ways to select two Latin books. Again, two different books, but these are the same subject. So, here we have 45, 55, we have 76 ways to select two books. Are the same subject. And we know that from our repertoire here of 22 books, there's a total of 230 ways to do our selection. So if we have 230 ways total, and we subtract off the number of ways of selecting two books for the same subject, then that will equal, that will tell us how many different ways you can select two books of a different subject, and that's going to be then 231 subtract 76. It looks like this would be 155. So that is it then. There's 155 ways that we can select two books of a different subject matter. And that's how, how we can approach this problem then using our knowledge of combinations. As it turns out, that's not the only way to, or not the only approach to solve this problem. We can also solve it by using the fundamental counting principle. For example, we know we have these books, and we want to know how many ways can we select two books of a different subject. Well, let's ask ourselves, what's the total number of ways, say, that we can choose a Latin book? say a Greek book. Those are different subjects. What about, say, a Latin book and a French book?
And let's see what other possibilities we have. How about a um, French book and a Greek book? We haven't covered that possibility. And it looks like these should be the total the three different possibilities here of selecting two books of a different subject matter. So, how many ways can we do this? Well, let's go back to here. There's five different Latin books. So our first task is select a Latin book. There's five different ways to do that. There's seven different Greek books. So there's seven different ways to do that task. So to do both of them, using our fundamental counting principle, that's 5 times 7 equals 35. So it's 35 different ways that you can choose a Latin book and a Greek book. What about a Latin book and a French book? So here we're performing two tasks. We're going to select a Latin book and we're going to select a French book. There's five different ways to do the first task, ten different ways to do the second task. This is going to be 5 times 10. That's 50 different ways then that we can choose a Latin book and a French book. And what about a French book and a Greek book? So that's going to be 10 times 70. 10 times 7 equals 70. So these are the total number of ways then, we add them all up, of choosing two different books of a different subject matter. Add it up and we get, again, 155. So we took some time, though, to go through the combination procedure, just to try to get familiar with it. We have more combination problems to work with. But remember now, for even a relatively straightforward problem like this, there might be more than one approach that you can use to solve the problem. So when you're going through the problems in your textbook, think about them carefully, and don't be surprised if there's more than one approach that you can use to get the answer that you're seeking. Anyway, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can solve some more problems.